And we're back with the doctors on Sunday House Call. You know, it's the leading cause for gastrointestinal related hospitalization in the U.S., and it is pancreatitis. So, what is pancreatitis? What causes it? And how do you treat it? Dr. Siegel, first of all, how do you know if you have it? Well, that's a really good question. By the way, the number you were looking for is 210,000 people go every year to the hospital with acute pancreatitis. And you, the symptoms are usually nausea, vomiting, pain radiating to the back, feeling unease. That's, that's Wait, a down there? I mean, down like upper, there? Or upper, where? upper quadrant. The other side. The other side. Down, over here? There you go, on yeah. the left side. Uh, it's on the left no, side? It, a little higher. <laughs> like up right here? Right behind the stomach, uh -huh. close to the small the, intestine. The location of the pancreas wow. is between the stomach and the upper small intestine. Okay. It's by the liver. So the liver releases into the gallbladder bile salts. The bile salts mixed with enzymes coming from the pancreas, and they go to the small intestine. That's how you digest your food. So your pancreas basically gets inflamed. Normally, Eric, the enzymes being released from the pancreas do not cause any problem. Something causes them to get angry, causes the pancreas to get angry. What is it? It's usually a gallstone, and that's why I mentioned the gallbladder. If, the gall, if there's a gallstone, it could make the pancreas inflamed. The other thing that does it is alcohol. Alcoholics get a lot of pancreatitis because they're irritating that pancreas. Those digestive enzymes, if they're released in the pancreas, can erode the pancreas and they give you a big inflammation. Treated with intravenous fluids, antibiotics, and rest. Usually surgery is not needed. Okay, so what about food? We always like to talk about diet. Could that affect it? Like spicy food? Yes, you, you absolutely. High fat food is what triggers pancreas. And, and if you have pancreatitis, anything that ends with itis is inflammation of arthritis, mm -hmm. pancreatitis. Oh, yeah. And pancreatitis comes in two forms. Acute, which is very sudden. You're perfectly fine. All of a sudden you get severe pain on the left side. It radiates to the back. Nausea, vomiting. Occasionally on this even though it's not typical and in the uh, in the uh, emergency room once we get a cat scan and we get a blood test mm -hmm. for lipase and amylase that's a diagnosis of pancreatitis and we admit you and you're taken care of once you recover from this our health point is absolutely very important because you need a nutritionist along with the surgeons and doctors to put you on a very important minerals and vitamins and low fat diet because fat triggers it when it becomes prolonged period mm -hmm. that's called chronic pancreatitis and typically things such as cystic fibrosis, lupus, a lot of high triglyceride. Some people have triglyceride in their 800, 900. Those are the risks along with gallstone and, and alcohol so use. Dr. Siegel, I know you said that it can be treated, but let's say the pain is not really significant. So you're like, oh, I'll just take a nap. I'll, I'll ride it out, take yeah. some aspirin or something. I don't know. What happens if you don't treat it over a period of time? And that's a great point you're making because, by the way, the symptoms we're talking about here can be vague. It doesn't have to be on the left. It can be in the center. It can just be bloating. You may not even have pain at all. You may just not feel right. Over time, if this isn't treated, it can lead to chronic pancreatitis, which is a huge, huge problem where, you're in, where your pancreas stops making those enzymes you need for digestion. You end up having to replace them. We've got to put you on a low-fat diet. Pancreas is one of the most important organs in the body. We you only have it, one, right? And you only have one. It's big. It's a big organ. I also want to mention, by the way, we always forget this, it also makes insulin. That's not the same part of the pancreas we're talking about today, but if you have chronic pancreatitis, your pancreas can get so scarred up that you end up having diabetes as a result. That's a total nightmare. So the time to treat it is early. Stop drinking. The reason why you don't want to ignore it is because if you have gallstones and you have no idea that you have it, one of those stones can come and block that pancreatic duct with the common bile duct. Now all the enzymes that are supposed to go and digest your food is going to self-digest or they digest the pancreas and that can lead eventually to diabetes, to heart disease, kidney failure and chronic pancreatitis. People can actually right. die from this when you treat it early and sometimes you have to go in surgically and put drainage and remove some of the infections and cysts, etc. You can actually help someone. So when you say drainage, pancreas. do you have to have like a pouch or something? Well, you would have a drain if there is a lot of secretion around. Can pancreas. this ever be done minimally invasive, or is it? Well, it can. Be. That's a very good question. Instead of opening someone up, that's that's a good point. <laughs> you can actually laparoscopically go in and drain some of the drainage because you would have leakage of a lot of amylase and enzymes over there. Good point. All right. Bottom line, because I'm scared of everything. 
and I don't know what I'm going to get. And it's going to hit me all of a sudden. No, see, I'm going to sit here and wonder. No, no, no. You, you need to stop drinking if okay. you're drinking. Right. Oh, that's and, what and, and do that. And then also watch out for pain like in the left back there. Right, and, and where's the kidney? The kidney pain kidney is, is over on here. the back. Kidney's in the right back. Okay. Kidney's right, we'll in the back. It. We'll get it. Liver's right. on the right. Yeah. Liver's on the right. I got you covered. Don't worry. You have a urologist. And besides, don't worry about it. You start, it's like, you know, you could have mind over matter, I believe. You start thinking you're going to get something. The Greek yogurt is going to save you. We've cured Eric of 100 problems already. That's a good thing. Okay.